Good morning. Today I'm going to talk about brainstem pathways and reflexes. This is actually the continuation of the spinal cord uh, pathway lectures. So uh, let's start with uh, the ascending tracts. We can group the tracts according to diff different uh, perspectives, like uh, the ones that go through the brainstem, like the spinothalamic tract or the spinocerebellar tracts. Those that end in the brainstem, fasciculus, gracilis, cuneatus, spinal reticular tract, or those that begin in the brainstem, medial lemniscus, and basically most of the extra, uh, uh, the trigeminal dorsal, trigeminal lateral lemniscus, uh, etc. But uh, this is much more logical to group the pathways according to the functions and what we already discussed at the spinal cord pathways and you've already learned the brainstem nuclei, the cranial nerve nuclei. So you can see that we can basically say that there are the somatosensory uh, pathways and the viscerosensory pathways and the somatosensory uh, can be grouped according to the three main uh, functions protopathic, epicritic and proprioceptive and uh, uh, these with the capital letters I show you the things that are added in the brainstem, uh, mainly the trigeminal uh, pathways. So this is the table or the, uh, uh, the chart that I already showed you at the spinal cord lecture and here you can see that the protopathic brain temperature and crude touch the tract in the spinal cord is the spinothalamic tract and in the brainstem we have the trigeminal lemniscus with the same uh, principle, uh, with the same uh, sensory quality. And of course in the area of the face, head, uh, we have the trigeminal nerve as the main uh, uh, sensory nerve. The epicritic, the fine discriminative touch, vibration, pressure. The tract is the uh, dorsal column medial lemniscus system, as you already learned in detail. And we have a trigeminal pathway added to it in the brace, and this is the dorsal trigeminal lemniscus. The proprioceptive is the third quality, which is the uh, unconscious part, is the spinal cerebellar tract, and the dorsal column for the conscious part. And here we have the third nucleus of the trigeminal nerve, the mesencephalic nucleus, and this is uh, uh, in the brace and added to the proprioceptive pathways. So here, just a summary again, this is what you've already seen, the summary again of the two main somatosensory <coughs> systems and the three neuronal pathways. First neuron is always sitting in both systems, in the uh, dorsal root ganglia. In case of the dorsal column, uh, the central process of the uh, <coughs> unipolar uh, nerves is going up to the medulla and then there is the first synapse to the second neuron, crosses lemniscus, this is the medial lemniscus which goes up to the thalamus and from the thalamus to the somatosensory cortex. In case of the spinothalamic uh, system, here again we have the dorsal root ganglion, <coughs> the synapse is in the dorsal horn. This is where uh, the neural synapses to the second uh, neuron, which crosses, goes all the way up to the thalamus, thalamus cortex. You can see that these two systems are completely separated at the level of the spinal cord. Here the dorsal column, here the uh, spinal thalamic uh, tract. In the lower level of the medulla, they are still separated because the spinal thalamic tract is more on the lateral side. The medial lemniscus, as the name suggests, is on the medial side of the medulla. And then they start to converge to each other. Here at the level of the rostral medulla, they are closer to each other and uh, they go together in the pons and the mesencephalon. Here you can see in another picture how the two systems uh, converge and finally they reach the uh, thalamus uh, together. Uh, the third main system is the proprioceptive information 
and all the cerebellar tract. In the brain cell, it's not only the spinal cerebellar tract, but other parts of the uh, cerebellar system are also going through or begin in the brainstem. Uh, this will be uh, in detail, this will be discussed in detail in the cerebellar lectures, uh, but uh, just briefly, there are mainly three main inputs to the uh, cerebellum, the vestibular, which obviously uh, start in the vestibular nuclei or end in the vestibular nuclei. Uh, so uh, the vestibular cerebellar tract begins in the brainstem. Uh, the spinal cord, this was already discussed, the ascending spinal cerebellar tracts, which bring the proprioceptive information from the spinal cord. And finally, a very big input to the cerebellum is from the cortex and through the pons, there is synapse in the pons and in the pons we have the pontocerebellar tracts which obviously then begin in the brainstem. Uh, these are reached, uh, the cerebellum is reached by the uh, three pedunculi, superior, middle and inferior, which you already know from anatomy. So let's add the sensory information from the face to this system. And this is the major reason why I suggest this uh, grouping, uh, the three uh, different groups, protopathic, epicritic and proprioceptive, because this is how the pathways are arranged and this is how the nuclei are arranged. In the brainstem we have the, um, the main and basically the only uh, sensory nerve a uh, somatosensory nerve, <coughs> which has nuclei, is the trigeminal nerve. And so here we have the three nuclei, one in each part of the brainstem, as you already heard, one in the mesencephalon, one in the pons, and one in the uh, medulla. And you only have to learn which is responsible for which uh, sensory quality. So here you can see that the mesencephalic nucleus is responsible for the proprioceptive information, and this is an exception in the sense that it is pseudo-unipolar, so it's like a ganglion set <coughs> to the center. The epicritic information is conveyed by the principal nucleus in the pons, and the protopathic pain temperature and crude touch from the area of the face is going to end in the spinal nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. And these are the ascending pathways uh, going uh, to convey this information. So, as you see, the um, epicritic and the protopathic join the main ascending pathways from the spinal cord. So, the um, trigeminal lemniscus joins the spinal thalamic tract, and the dorsal trigeminal lemniscus joins the uh, medial lemniscus. Together, these pathways can be called trigeminal thalamic pathways or tracts because they end in the thalamus. The third, the, uh, this, these two I'm going to discuss a little bit more in detail. The third is the mesencephalic nucleus of the trigeminal nerve, which, uh, as I already mentioned, is pseudo-unipolar, so the peripheral process brings information from the masoteric or other mastication muscle, and the central process can go to two different uh, ways. Uh, it can close the reflex, so the central process can end in the motor nucleus of the trigeminal nerve, and then we have a proprioceptive monosynaptic reflex, or can end in the principal nucleus, and then it becomes a conscious information. So here you can see the two main ascending systems, uh, one from the body and one from the uh, face, and you can see the differences. The principle is the same. We have three neurons, the three neuron system. The first neuron is always in a ganglion. Here too, it's the trigeminal ganglion, which is pseudo-unipolar uh, nerve cells. And then, in the case of the protopathic information, the second neuron uh, goes as a spinal thalamic tract to the thalamus, VPL, posterior, uh, ventral posterior lateral nucleus, and then uh, goes to the uh, cortex. The same principle, that's why you can see them paralleled next to each other. So from the trigeminal ganglia, uh, the central process of these pseudo neurons 
go to descend, enter at the level of the plants and then descend um, uh, almost to the spinal cord. That is why it's called spinal nucleus uh, of the trigeminal nerve or nucleus of the spinal tract of the trigeminal nerve. You can also say this is where we have the synapse to the second neuron, which always crosses. The second neuron is the one that uh, crosses to the other side. This is called the trigeminal, and then this was this ascending pathway, which then goes to the thalamus, just like the main uh, uh, spinal thalamic system. It goes to a different nucleus, which is not that different because this was the uh, ventral posterior lateral, and this is the ventral posterior media, so it's almost the same. Uh, nucleus, ventral posterior nucleus, that was ventral posterior uh, nucleus, just not the lateral but the medial part, so we have the somatotopic organization here too. And then from here, uh, fibers project to the sensory cortex, obviously, where we have the face area. So we have the three neural system here too. And uh, if you look at the epicritic system, it's basically the same one, two, three. Uh, three steps. Uh, the difference is where the second neuron is because the first neuron ends um, uh, in the uh, nucleus gracilis on the same side and then the median of this starts, crosses and goes to the thalamus. So with this somatosensory information from the face, first neuron is also sitting obviously in the trigeminal ganglion, enters at the level of the pons, and this is where we have the principal nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. Then after the synapse crosses, uh, the tract crosses and ends in the thalamus, ventral posterior medial nucleus, and then from there to the cortex. So this is already similar to the previous one.